Thanks so much for joining us here on the channel. And do we have a treat for you on this video? Everyone's favorite Pokemon cat, sorry Meowth, is featured in this deck profile. We do have Meowskarata coming back, the grass cat. Yes, I know we've seen it in the binder too long. Charizard is in the rise. So now it's time to pull out those Meowskaratas and try it out on the ladder and get prepared for post rotation. We've seen a lot of lists come out so far in the Japanese meta and now we want to talk about one that actually made the finals. So today in this video we're going to be covering Meowskarata EX and some of the new ways that you can play it post rotation. We'll go through all of the cards in this list and then you can tell us down in the comments below if you like it or not and we can kind of go off of that. So before we get into the deck list I do want to give as always a shout out to all of the sponsors that help the Shuffle Squad and this channel survive here in the YouTube algorithm. So you can check them all down below and see in the description of this video if you want to use any of our affiliate codes too to also get some discounts of some great Pokemon product or just Join our Patreon where you can learn about amazing different new strategies to become a little bit more competitive in the Pokemon trading card game. With all that being said, let's hop over and take a look at this list. Alright, it's been too long that we need to get this cat out of the bag, so we do have the Meowskarata line. As you can see, we have a 3-2-3 line here, so we're able to evolve pretty easily. It's just like the Charizard lines, just a little bit thinner because we do have some awesome friends here. Now, if you don't know exactly what Meowskarata does or why it's so powerful, it does have the Bokeh Magic ability where you get to discard a basic Grass Energy card from your hand in order to use the ability, but one once you do, you can put three damage counters on one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Now, in combination with the Radiant Alakazam here that can move up to two damage counters per turn, it really works well and has some synergy here because Scratching Nails as the attack here for two colorless energy does 100 damage plus if your opponent's active Pokemon already has any damage counters on it, it does 120 more damage. So maxing out at 220 damage into anything that is weak to grass like a lot of these dark Pokemon are out here talking about you Charizard EX or you Roaring moon we are able to knock them out so it's really good maneuvering where the damage is or you can just start knocking out 60 hp pokemon if you do it twice now how do we get there we do have a couple of different engines that we're seeing come into this list the first is the pidgeot engine just like charizard you are able to evolve here we do have a 212 line of the pidgeot and utilizing the quick search ability on pidgeot to get anything that we want out of our deck once per turn really really good here now we can use Use the Pidgeotto in this line here to just evolve straight up. So now we're seeing a little bit more of the stage one evolutions in these lists. Now, just in case we do get Iono and we can't get ourselves out of it, we can also use the 2 2 Bibarel line here to start to build up our hand. So if we've got a pretty thin hand, we still have that here. So able to get us out of sticky situations. We already talked about the Radiant Alakazam, so we won't talk too much about that. But let's look at some of the other support Pokemon here, like the Manaphy to help from getting your bench sniped by a Radiant Greninja or anything else that starts to come out here. And a Jirachi. So now Jirachi is going to prevent Sableye from just planting damage all over your benched Pokemon. So really good here to have one of each in the list just to be a safeguard from threats like that. Now the support line is pretty thick here. We're looking at four Ionos to keep up that pace of disruption in case something does get knocked out. Again, you do have your Bibarel to help out with that even if you self Iono and you're a little bit lower on the prize count. Then we have four of Arvin. Now Arvin's really great here and we can talk about some synergies with Arvin. Arvin is able to get our buddy buddy Poffins out pretty quick so we can set up establishing our board if we're going second and also the TM Evolution. Now we'll stop and talk a little bit about TM Evolution here. Again, we're seeing these stage ones come into play. We do have quite a bit of energy. So going into a buddy Poffin turn and then planting an energy down using your Arvin, getting the TM Evo, it's all synergistic of each other. And that's where we're going to see this deck really thrive and be consistent. So the TM Evolution, I'd love to see maybe one more in this list just in case we do prize it. But that's where the Arvins are going to come into play. Also, we do have four of rare candies in this list and four Ultra Balls. So a lot of four ofs here to keep it consistent. So 
really really cool list uh, we do have three boss so we're able to boss things out that we do want to hit maybe we're going for a 2-2-2 two, two, two prize map so really good here to have the three boss now we don't have any recycling of these supporter cards so we do want to make sure that we're using our boss as we can see we don't have any discard uh, supporters in this list like professors research so we do want to make sure that we're utilizing our boss's orders when we can now we already talked about the four line for the Ultra Ball, the Buddy Buddy Poffin, and the Rare Candy, but there's now a couple of other cards that come into play. So the Superior Energy Retrieval, we're going to thin down our hand a little bit, discarding two other cards. But now we can get four Grass Energies back, which might be really good because we can use that Bouquet Magic over and over again to start spreading some damage counters where we need them. Now... We do also see an A spec come in here, and I know in the graphic we have the older version of it, but there is a newer A spec that came out for the same effect where we can just go search for any one Pokemon that we need in our list. Maybe we do need that Radiant Alakazam to move some of the damage counters around to the active spot. So we do have one of Master Ball here, really, really good. So keeping up the consistency side of things. If we need to get our Pokemon back, just in case, you know, for some reason we've discarded some, we do have the one of Super Rod. So it's really really good here to get that going now another thing to note is that we can always attack with Pidgeot EX as well so something to note in case you do get your Pidgeot EX knocked out uh, even though it does have the 280 hit points and usually we'll be sitting on your bench we want to be able to recover that to find what we need now we do have a way of finding energy is the earthen vessel here so we're discarding a card from our hand again the thinning aspect that comes to mind here to use with the Bibrel engine just to find those energies and use bouquet magic again everything is working with each other in this list that's why i really really do like the way that this list is shaping out for sure we have one of switch just in case our rating alakazam uh, gets bossed up and we need to get it out of the active spot maybe we ran out of double turbo energies or we're playing against stall we do have the one of switch which we can search for with the Pidgeot EX. Also, uh, and then rounding out our list, six grass energy and four double turbo energy. We wanna find the double turbo energy to start attacking with our Miascarada pretty early in the game too. So that's really good to know how many energy, 10 energy will round out this list. So let's talk about some of the matchups. Obviously we know uh, the Charizard EX matchup is gonna be pretty good. They are gonna start swinging into us, but we're 310 hit point Pokemon. For our main primary attacker in this list so being able to swing back and forth pretty easily against the charizard is always a great thing to do now lugia is good here we can start spreading damage counters on maybe on the mencinos or maybe just actively go into an aggressive matchup and start sniping things down maybe trap something in the active put some damage counters and start moving those damage counters around turn after turn after turn so other than that, some things that come to mind here are maybe some Lost Box decks because you're planting damage counters. Uh, could be really good against that. Again, we are weak to fire, so we want to be careful that they don't have any Radiant Charizards in their list to come and swing into us to trade a 1 for 2 prize into our deck. And another couple of lists, I mean, these ancient and future boxes it looks like it could be pretty good against them because your output again is so high and you're maneuvering damage counter so really great list i'd love to see miascarada do some real things in this next format so maybe a deck to keep your eye on maybe you love playing grass pokemon this is definitely a deck for you so we're going to talk about some final things with this list here before we kick off the end of the video so let's hop back over there and talk about that so yes, dust off your Meowskarata EXs because now is the time to start playing it. If you love decks like this and spread decks, this could be your next deck build, your next 60 cards. So you want to make sure that you're getting singles like that over at atlastcg.com or visit kfabecards.com on their TCG player store. And you can tell them that the Shuffle Squad sent you over there. There's awesome affiliate codes down in the description as well. But I really do like this list. I think that it is a great grass deck if people love playing grass decks. I know that there aren't too many spread decks out there. Um, and Sableye, Jirachi have been a combination to kind of stomp out the Sableye uh, decks that there are. So having um, Manaphy and Jirachi in this list kind of puts the hurt on anything like the Giratina V-Stars of the format 
or just the straight up lost box, but you can still spread damage because you're not a basic Pokemon, which is really, really cool. And obviously if Charizard is a heavily played deck in your meta, this is a great deck to bring to your local challenges or league cups, things like that, or maybe even the next regional if Charizard remains to be one of the highest played decks. Uh, this is gonna be a great couple of cards that are low in cost too, and this is a budget deck, mind you, that you're gonna wanna pick up. So really awesome Meowskaretta deck. I love to see this in the finals over in Japan. So if you love this list and you like competitive lists like this, make sure you're leaving a comment in the video. It definitely helps out the algorithm here on the Shuffle Squad videos as well. But we will go ahead and catch you next time on the Shuffle Squad. Want to support the Shuffle Squad? Be sure to check out all of our sponsors in the description to pick up Pokemon TCG singles, sealed, and PTCG live codes. Hey trainers, tired of having too many cards lying around? I know that feeling, and I know what a hassle it is to try and sell those cards. But selling bulk is now easier than ever with TCG Bulk. Find tons of potential buyers in a single place. You just download the app, look for the best buyer near you, and carefully pack your bulk, ship it, and you get paid. It really is that simple. Turn the cards you don't want into the cards you absolutely need for your next deck. You made it to the end. Thank you so much for watching this entire video from the Shuffle Squad. Honestly, from the bottom of our hearts, we appreciate each and every person that supports our content watches what we have going on every single day every single week even from time to time and uh, continuously allows us to have a forum to project our creative content towards the pokemon tcg community so if you haven't already be sure to give this video a like subscribe to the channel and even leave a comment to help boost the youtube algorithm that being said we'll catch you with our next video thanks again take it easy